as you all know, next week will be our Summer Farewell Show, where we will pay one last tribute to our great 2016 summer season, which we enjoy very well. By now, let's get back to our classes here in Houston this week, and who we have next, Paul? Race number four will feature Alan Holmes, RJ Upton, or OJ Upton for short, Iowa's fabulous warrior Steve Wigman, and Chris Schneider, who is one half of the Go-Getters. Right now, here's a look at the lineup for what is next leg of our journey. The players will line up and ready to go. Let's have a challenge! And it looks like Alan Holmes is the rest. That'll give RPJ Upton, Steve Wigman, and Chris Schneider the opening edge. We'll find out which one will pay off in the early run. Right now, these three chow are heading towards the palm trees. Here comes that coconut shake food. They really want to get some wins on the board if they want to qualify for the playoffs. Or at least coming back next season. By right now, it is Iron's Fabulous Warrior, Steve Wingman, who's leading over the competition right now. As number seven wins the winning toss, that will leave Alan Holmes in dead meat. Alan Holmes is getting left behind in the competition. It would be a miracle for Alan Holmes to get back in this one. Well, he's going to head for the water. Oh, he's taking a shortcut! He's now in the lead thanks to that shortcut! As number 8 will take speed with number 2 of this race. Alan Holmes just went from being a dead meat all the way to being the leader of this race. What a deal! And number 1 will have the next command speed us. And it looks like we should not pause at this point. By now it is number two who is getting left behind in the competition. We passed the one minute mark on this race. As the next speed we may buy, number eight. That's the second speed burst in the race. And right now it is our Holmes who after a desperate nap and a lot of dancing takes the lead after a shortcut. I think he is going to hold on for an easy bit to be pack. As number seven takes another turn. That's it. Second speed was in the race. Coming and catching up to number one for four points in the pack. And by now, Chris Schneider is getting all alone in last place. He really wants to fulfill some speed bursts. But who really got the next command speed bursts? It is number two. That's who. That will leave Chris Schneider in dead meat. And by now, he's catching up to number seven about for the leader of the force in the channel. And it looks like. The wingman's for rest, which means RJ Upton, or OJ Upton for short, will move up to second place as he will get the next command as he was. But Alan Holmes can say sign out to his opponents. He was way ahead behind in the pack, but his short got paid off and he should have an easy victory. No one's gonna catch him up in the hurry. As number seven takes the next command speed you can tally up one point for Alan Holmes. Great shortcut strategy to come back from the star on the base. And right now, number one went a little too far that time. He is about to retain last place to the No hope for number one at all. As Chris Schneider is about to close up his people's for the race, and that was a pity right there. That was a pity right there. OG Upton came in second, as D. Wayne Ben came in third place. Alright, Alan Holmes has aced the test after an early nap at the very start. That's right, a very good strategy by Alan Holmes. And one more thing I ask for you after we find out about this.